Hello guys, this, my name is Pranam Kumar Stokey and this is my 5th grade science fair project. And what my science fair project is about is about measuring the lung capacity using balloons. My background information is about being healthy and fit is very important. One way to find out how fit you are is to measure your lung capacity. This is a measurement of just how much air your lungs can hold. The more air your lungs can hold, the more air your lungs can distribute to your body while daily activities and exercising. And my question was, which age group of people have the larger lung capacity? And my hypothesis was, the people between 20 and 30 will have, will, years of age may have the higher lung capacity than the people between 6 to 11 years of age. And then, you guys might be wondering, some of you guys might be wondering, what are lungs? Lungs, and it says right here, lungs are a pair of breathing organs, organs located within the chest. Lungs remove carbon dioxide and and bring oxygen to the blood through breathing. There is a right lung and a left lung. And fun fact, the right lung is bigger than the left lung because the left one shares room, space with the heart. And then the materials I used for this experiment was a balloon 12 inch, male and people, pe female, sorry, of people, male and female, people of different age groups, two rulers, notebook, p pencil and eraser, and thread and scissors. And the procedure I did, uh, I first find a person and note down his or a her age, gender, and if he is healthy or not. Request the person to take a deep breath from her mouth, from her or his mouth and blow it all into the balloon and only in one breath. And then hold the balloon tightly and make a tight knot. You can either make a tight knot or you can use thread to make a knot too, which is optional. And then for measure the balloon's largest diameter as shown in picture three, then note down in centimeters. Repeat steps two to four three times and record average reading. Make different graphs using the balloon's diameter, age, gender, and gender of people. You can compare lung capacity of uh, using balloon's diameter. And the larger the balloon's diameter, the larger the balloon's lung capacity, I mean, sorry, your lung's capacity will be. And then my results were I performed two experiments on six males and six females, as you can see right here, and they were all healthy and non-smokers. Figure 1A and 1B shows lung capacity of females from age 6 to 57. And, one, and figure 2A to 2B shows lung capacity of males from age 10 to 45. And my conclusion was the people between 20 and 20 to 25 years of age have larger lung capacity. The age groups of 6 to 11 have the smaller lung capacity. And my hypothesis was correct. And I also found my answer to my question. And I also found out that male have larger lung capacity than female, and after 40 years of age, lung capacity does not increase, increase much. My acknowledgement would, is I'd like to thank my science teacher, Ms. Candace Rodriguez, for inspiring me with science study, and I'm gratefully thankful for the people who are the part of blowing the balloons. My dad helped me in making the poster, and making the graphs and my mom helped me in preparing the poster. And I, and I got inspired by this pro, uh, poster on uh, measuring lung capacity because how one can test his or her lungs at home at, without seeing the doctor. And if you guys want further knowledge or reading, you can go to references that I put and these are the websites. And this was my science fair project up on fifth grade.
Hello everyone, my name is Pranav Kumar Stogi and today uh, I'm doing a science fair 5th grade project on, uh, on measuring lung capacity and for that you'll need some balloons, two, pa two rulers, one, metric, uh, me one measuring tape, a uh, pencil, eraser, string, and some scissors and a notebook. And you also need a little sister. To measure your lung capacity with this balloon, first you have to take as much air as you can in your lungs, uh, and then you let it all out in this balloon like this. These are the two balloons I did, and for them, for the diameter for this one, I I got 17 and a half centimeters. And then, for, and then I got 45 centimeters in per, per, perimeter. And for this one, the first try I did, I got 12 and a half centimeters. And for the perimeter, I got 44 centimeters. So I did better on my second try. So you can try this too. Like you can do three, and I have the best ones. So this one, I'm going to measure. So you have to do it with the centimeters. You first put this on top at the highest point, And then you take this. Put out the centimeter side and then make sure the one's at the bottom and then you measure it. And then I got 14. I got 14 for this diameter. So I put 14 centimeters. And then for the and then there's another method where you can do this. Put the you use your measuring tape. I got 47, 47 um, centimeters for the perimeter. So I put 47 centimeters on the perimeter line. So for this, I got 14 centimeters and. 14 centimeters on diameter and 47 for perimeter. So you can try this too where you put three, three balloons and then the best one you can do that too. Now it's my little sis, my six year old sister. So check her lung capacity. And now we will measure it. Like we did last time. Here, as I speak. Then it is eleven and a half centimeters. So we write it out in our notebook: eleven and a half centimeters, or f eleven and five centimeters. And then we use our second method. And then she got 36 centimeters in perimeter for the second. And she also, uh, this was her first try, and she got 9.7 centimeters, and she had 31 centimeters for a perimeter. So she did a lot better this time. I measured a 39-year-old woman's lung capacity through this balloon, and I'm going to measure it. Uh, I'm going to measure first diameter, so it is 15.9. Okay, so I'll write that down. 15.9 centimeters. Centimeters. 15.9 centimeters. Now I'm going to measure it perimeter. Centimeters. Okay. To measure from the half. And it 
is 48. So the parameter was for this 39 year old woman's lung capacity for the parameter it was 48 and the uh, diameter was was uh, 15.5. I measured a 42 year old man's lung capacity and I'm through this balloon and I'm going to measure it. Okay. It is 18. 18 diameter and then now I'm going to measure it through perimeter through this metric. Centimeter. So I'm going to do uh, so it is 55 centimeters. 55 centimeters. Perimeter. Or perimeter.